Are you buying Robux or redeeming a gift card soon? Well, use star code MEGANPLAYS while doing so to help support the channel. Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Megan. Welcome back to my channel, Peachy Squad. Today, I am so excited because I'm going to be teaching you guys the fastest way to get all the pickaxes, all the fossils, everything you need for this Adopt Me update so you can get as many dinosaur pets as possible before the update leaves. So I know the update can be maybe a little bit confusing because there's kind of a lot to it, but we're going to speed run this and I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do. You're going to grab any pet that you made from last time. You're going to come over and you're going to see if you have any fossils from last time and then you are going to just insert them to get those started. Go ahead and let those bake. Then you're going to walk over to the mine. Now this mine refreshes every single day at whenever your update updates. So if you basically have your update come out at 10 a.m. or 3 p.m., that's when your mine's going to reset. And then you have all day to mine, so you don't have to worry about running out of time. It's worth noting this update can be a little bit glitchy, so if you want to throw your pet in and then restart the server, that might be best. So once you get over here, like if your pickaxe doesn't immediately appear, your game is glitched or it's just lagged, and you should just move on. Now the fastest way that I like to do this is I just like to expose every single piece and find the materials first. Like the copper slash the diamond. I think it's copper or it's iron, I'm not sure. So basically, as we can see, the way that I'm kind of doing this pattern makes it to where we can see all the exposed blocks. Now at the top, you know, you don't really get that much of a benefit from it because, um, we can see the top layer. So this method is just actually really helpful for getting down and seeing all the other layers really quickly. If you've ever played Minecraft, it's kind of like Minecraft where you just want to try to collect, you know, you just want to expose the sides so that you could actually see what's going on. So now we'll go in here and then we'll mine straight forward until we hit a wall. And then that way we're quickly able to see where these copper ores are. Now, the reason that we're wanting to get the copper ores first, <laughs> or are they iron ores? I don't know, is because then we can quickly upgrade our pickaxe because that also has a waiting time on it. So we want to find these first. So we know they're not there. And then, oh wait, there's one right here. And then we can immediately do that again right here. So there's three hits per one. I sometimes like to spam it like this, <laughs> but I think it doesn't do it any faster than you would think. You know what I mean? Like it's not actually faster. It's just helping you feel faster, or give you something to do while you wait. And to note, you do get random fossils. Oh, look, there's one there. You do get random fossils throughout these dirt pieces, but I don't spend your time getting the actual fossils yet because right now we have a dinosaur baking. There's not really a point in collecting the fossils yet. So we'll carve out this row. Oh, look, there's some diamond right there. And I think there's some right here, which means we only need to find one more ore. So let's continue with our method, skip a row, and then just chop these away. And then hopefully sooner than later, we'll be able to find that missing copper ore. It might be underneath these two sides, this one or this one. So the blocks underneath here, um, but that's, that's the method. Oh, there it is. So then once you have your iron, you can come up here, head over to the blacksmith and get your pickaxe starting to upgrade. That's gonna be ready in five minutes. And our pet that we put in is gonna be ready in 15 minutes. So while the time is going, I'm going to focus on getting these fossils out just in case I'm able to create another dinosaur before my pickaxe is done. I'll also continue on my method of just exposing every single block. Now, again, there are random weight, like there are, there's, there's a chance. <laughs> again, there's a random chance that they are going to have fossils in just these dirt clumps, but at the same time, it's kind of more efficient to just kind of get the ones that you know are there first, especially if you're on a very limited amount of time. So as we can see, I think we might have mined all of the fossils, all of the actual fossils, or maybe not. Let's check here. Oh wait, yep, uh-huh, because this whole row down here is exposed. So we're able to see every single block. So now while you kind of wait for the rest of it to, oh wait, wait, maybe down here, maybe down here. I like this method. I think it's very efficient. All right, perfect. So we've gotten all the guaranteed fossils. And as you can see, we've only been mining for one day cycle. It turned day just as I turned on this. So we basically finished the first layer. Our pickaxe is gonna be ready in three minutes. Our pet's gonna be ready in 13 minutes. So I guess while I wait, I'm just going to start chucking away at this. Oh, okay. Just to kind of prep, maybe it'd be better if I did this. Start looking for the diamonds so that we can continue to upgrade our pickaxe. 
Now you want to make sure to not try to leave any floating blocks because once you get down too deep it's kind of hard to get them and you do need them to complete the mine if you're trying to get that sticker pack from the rewards right here. You want to make sure that you don't leave any of them too out of reach. Again, if you want to fully skip this step of clearing out the mine and you want to like log off because you have other things to do, that's totally fine too. I don't have anything else to do today, so I'm kind of just making sure to do my little mining duties. And it's the next day cycle. So as you can see, we pretty much got this little chunk of dirt cleared out in one whole full adopt me day which is pretty good. If you've only mined the dirt, you can jump out easily. Basically, I think the dirt is like three blocks, but the stone is a lot more. So look, by the time we've got that done, our pickaxe is ready. We'll go ahead and get our upgrade. Let's go over here and check on this, 10 minutes. All right, and now we'll continue the method again. We wanna prioritize getting the diamonds. There's one there. There's one here. Oh, there's another one. I think we're getting kind of lucky. Oh, and then there's three more. Okay, so we're having, a, we're having a good time. And then we've already dug down to the bottom. So one, two, three, four. This row's been pretty lucky. Now we do need 20 as opposed to 10. So you're putting in a little bit of extra work here. Obviously I'm not gonna skip these diamonds that I can see right here, clear as day. Um, I'm just gonna drag my mouse over and hope that it does a good amount of work to these rows. What's nice is you can zoom all the way out and just tap. Like you don't have to move around a lot. Uh, you don't have to walk up to each block and mine it. You could just do it this way. Oh, look, there's another diamond right there. Let's get it. Another diamond vein right there. See, it's helpful because you can kind of just see it without mining everything. Let's check on this again. I think we get a notification, but I have my sounds turned off. So five minutes. Okay. And for the record, I've only been recording this video for 15 minutes. So this is everything I've gotten done in 15 minutes up to this point, which I think is pretty good. This also helps expose all of the fossil ore, which you can totally go back or do at the same time. I just like to prioritize getting my pickaxe first because it allows me to spend my time mining these fossils as my pickaxe is upgrading. That way I still get the fossils, but I don't spend a lot of time or as much time as I would have waited for these pickaxe upgrades. Okay, to surface, we need one more, one more diamond vein, which is nice. If we get really lucky, we'll find it near the surface. There it is. Okay, perfect. So let's teleport to the surface. Let's go ahead and get this pickaxe cooking. That's gonna be ready in five minutes. Let's check our pet three minutes. So we still have some time. And now I can spend the next four-ish minutes, let's say the next three, three minutes, just working on getting the fossils. This method, like I said, is helpful because now I know where all the fossils are guaranteed to be and not just like, oh, maybe there's a random chance that there's a fossil here or here. You can reach like three blocks away, which is really nice. And again, we can see that there's no more diamonds in this row or no more fossils in this row because I can see it from the other side. But there might be one hiding just underneath the surface of one of these blocks. Also, don't forget to get bucks. You can turn into a baby and also have a pet out. And if you're ever wanting to go do some pet needs or have a cure-all potion to get some of those bucks you need for the dinosaurs, that is also something that you can do during this time as well. Perfect. All right, I'm going to work on mining out this bottom piece right here so that I can see the fully exposed surface of the granite. Luckily, it's not Minecraft, so this is like not going to cave in on you, which is nice. Could you imagine if Adopt Me was like, mm, bye, <laughs> and you like lost everything? Eek, that'd be really tragic. Your pet is ready to collect. Okay, so let's go to the surface. Let's get our pet. Thank you, and let's get another pet going. As we can see, I have a Velociraptor and the Ankylosaurus. So let's go ahead and work on the Ankylosaurus because that one is more rare. So our bucks, pay. I put the pets away because I don't really need the bucks. And also they just kind of, they get too many needs. And I find that the game always glitches or lags after you put a pet in the machine. So I think this is the part where if you wanted to like leave, you could leave and then you could re-get into your server. Side note, I love, love, love this new loading page that the game added. I think it's so freaking cute. Looks like our pickaxe is done. Now let's see, these took three hits a piece today. Now they're two. So that's another thing. If you don't finish mining everything before, it becomes a lot faster to carve out the rest of the mine with your upgraded pickaxe. All right, let's see how quickly we can do this last bit. 
And I think it's worth mentioning that there are no ore. So now at this point, we're not looking for ore. We're just looking for bones. So we're at like 23 minutes of recording. So I think that that is like super good. If we could like knock out this whole thing in close to 25 minutes, I think that would be a really big accomplishment. What's nice is they also have this auto mine feature, which I am literally just seeing for the first time. So there's that. <laughs> The auto mine feature is kind of like going rogue. Like I have no, oh my gosh, I have it on and it's just like, <laughs> there's no structure here. There's no like method to the madness to the surface. We have one more row. And then this way we will guarantee that we can see absolutely every single fossil. I think we're coming near the end. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Okay, and then there you have it. Oh wait, what about this row? I can do this row? Wait, no, is this row done? Where am I? To the surface. Hold on. Oh no, I skipped a row. Okay, so basically you would be done if you didn't make the mistake I made where I accidentally doubled up this row as we can see. And now I guess, I guess technically we can see from both sides. So that's actually okay. You know, maybe you don't even need to do all the way through. You could just do every two. I think we just learned something new. So now we know where every single guaranteed fossil is and the rest is just if I want to try to get the sticker pack or any extra fossils that might still be hiding away. In total, this video took me about 30 minutes to record, which I don't think is too bad. We're gonna have a dinosaur ready in 11 minutes um, and there's no more pickaxe upgrades. So I hope that you guys learned a lot and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hashtag stay PT, stay kind. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.